SPRING STRIKES. WITH THE SEASON HEATING UP, THE SNAKES ARE OUT AND THEY ARE BITING. GOOD EVENING AND THANKS FOR JOINING US. I'M JENNIFER WADDELL. AND I'M GUY ATCHLEY. THIS MORNING, A GREEN VALLEY MAN WAS IN HIS YARD DOING SOME WEED WORK WHEN OUT OF NOWHERE THE SNAKE STRUCK. EMERGENCY RESPONDERS COULD NOT FIND IT, BUT THEY KNOW THE CULPRIT WAS A VENOMOUS SNAKE BECAUSE OF THE SWELLING AND THE BITE ON THE MAN'S FINGER. NOW, HE IS RECOVERING IN THE HOSPITAL, BUT HIS CASE IS ONE OF THE FIRST OF WHAT WILL BE HUNDREDS IN THE STATE THIS YEAR IF PAST POISON CONTROL RECORDS ARE IN THE INDICATION. SO, HOW CAN YOU KEEP IT FROM HAPPENING TO YOU? AND IF IT DOES, WHAT DO YOU DO? NOT ON YOUR SIDE'S KEVIN KEENE ASKS THOSE WHO KNOW BEST AND THEIR ANSWERS MAY SURPRISE YOU. NOW SLITHERING IN YOUR BACKYARD, IN THE BUSHES, OR EVEN UP IN TREES, VENOMOUS SNAKES. A Green Valley man found out the painful way Tuesday while weeding, becoming the eighth victim reported to Tucson Poison Control this year. Arizona's bite and sting season, normally starting in April, has begun. No doubt in my mind that it started early. You know, we have consistent temperatures in the mid to high 80s, even touching 90 degrees now. When the temperature rises enough in the desert to get a lot of our reptiles active, as well as our insects, that usually falls between the warming up months, say April, and then our biggest cool down is in October. Snakes are busy slinking around and humans need to be aware. The classic saying is don't put your hand where your eyes can't see. Uh, don't reach into areas that you, you're not sure what's there. As people are taking walks in the early evening, have a flashlight with them so they can always look ahead to where they're walking. Even when you're careful, serpents can still strike. When you're bit by a snake, your reaction might be to do something, to perform some first aid or pull out a kit like this one. But that's not what Poison Control Center recommends. Don't do anything. Don't cut it, don't suck it, no ice, no tourniquets. Nothing you do before you go to the hospital is going to uh, improve your outcome. It's only going to potentially make things worse. Arizona's poison control director says sucking out the venom can do just that, make it worse. Is that just something that's in the movies? Yeah, perpetuated in movies, but we, it's not something that we ever want someone to do. So what should you do? Keith Boson says call 911. But we do want people in the hospital, and everyone bit by a rattlesnake needs to be in the emergency room. Boson says hospitals know the symptoms, have anti-venom, and know when to use it. Now, if you've heard rumors about a shortage of antivenin used to treat snake bites, poison, poison control says they're just not true. The director says there is plenty of product in Arizona right now. Kevin, I know this has been the case in the past, but can someone still call the fire department for help if, if they see a snake, if they've got a venomous one? Yeah, I asked both Tucson Fire Department and Northwest Fire that question today, and they say that you can call, but they only take care of removing a snake when it's in your home or trapped inside of your backyard and can't get out, and it's, get, can't get out on its own. Hmm. Northwest Fire says that crews did that 10 times today alone, but oh, if the wow. snake is in your yard and has a way of getting out, they say that they'll refer you to a private company and you can pay to have it removed. Or